From Her to Magging the Guns, True Stories from the Western Front by Jacqueline Larson Carmichael. Rosie the Riveter of Her Day. On the home front, not all jobs were appropriate and safe. The Rosie the Riveter of her era, Lottie Mead, glowed in her war work jumpsuit with her beautiful attitude and a hand on her hip. She was a mother of four, self-confident, proud to do her bit for home front service. She performed essential work with hazardous munitions, and it was essential as 80% of the munitions for the Allies working were made by women, according to Forces.net. It meant better wages than working in a shop, and she earned the title Munitionette working long hours and six day weeks to keep those explosives heading for the front. Working with explosives was more risky than working in a shop too. Munitionette Lottie Mead was poisoned by the chemicals she worked with in 1916. Munitions plants had improper ventilation and poor working conditions. Toxic chemicals meant yellowed skin which led to the workers being nicknamed canaries. And for Lottie, death by TNT poisoning. Literally, the canary in the coal mine, she brought attention to the workers' plight. A UK Royal Mail stamp in 2016 remembered Lottie Mead a century after her death.